Hi, and welcome to another channel teaching. I'm Rena Wells, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you find these channeled messages helpful for your journey. And if you're returning, welcome back, my loves. Um, today, I'm going to talk about dark energies and how they piggyback off of your light, how they piggyback off of your belief systems, off your thoughts, and how to gain a very clear understanding of energy discernment. This is something that I have had to learn throughout my entire life. For some of you that haven't been following me for a while, I'm very honest about my path because I believe the more that we share, that goes out and collects more people and the vulnerability attracts people to share their stories. I believe in sharing. I believe there is power in that. I believe it creates community. I believe that if I can put my own selfish desires of how I may be perceived to the world, that that can at least help one soul. And if that helps somebody, then my job is done. So I would love it if you would comment on this and you could share it and just, you know, I tried to do my best to respond to everybody and I do read all the comments and I would love it if you could share your story too. I want to make this a safe place for all of you. Now, also, before we get into the teachings, please understand that my teachers who has taught, who have taught me has not been any guru or new age philosophy. I have been awakened this entire life. I went through very deep trauma in my life, okay? And I'm grateful for all of the abuse, and I'm going to put that out there. I've done the extent of healing. Um, you can look through my channel. All kinds of, of, of healing that I've gone through from addictions to being kidnapped and raped, incest abuse, sexual abuse, emotional abuse, being beaten as a child, all kinds of abuse, okay? Narcissistic family members, all kinds of different things. And uh, eating disorders, uh, body image standards, every single thing you can think about. I've healed that, you guys. And now my teacher, again, like I said, is my darkness, but it's also plant medicine. And I am a medicine woman. I work predominantly with psychedelics and natural plant medicines. I don't use frog medicine or animal medicine. I don't believe in hurting animals. I don't believe in hurting other sentient beings because of the state of where we're at living in our world. It We are, all, are already out of balance with that. And so the animals need to be honored as much as the plants and the earth and all other humans and other sentient beings to the ants to the birds to us okay so let's get started because I wanted to bring that through so that you guys could just not have a judgment about this and a lot of what I bring through is based on my deep connection with the earth I embody the divine feminine energy of the earth when I work with ayahuasca, nature wakes up, birds wake up in the middle of the night, they sing with me when I when I work with the plants. I can sit in a field and call rabbits to me and nature responds. It's part of my gift. And so a lot of these teachings are going to be directly from Mother Earth through the plants and what I have learned in working with energy and being highly sensitive. So again, I hope you can comment down below if you want to work with me further. I do coaching. I run uh, ceremonies in Mexico. I will be running psilocybin ceremonies in Toronto, hopefully when COVID opens up. Um, if you are interested, send me an email or you can join my email list from my website. All right, let's get started, you guys. I am also going to be drinking my coffee as I do this, so don't mind if you hear that. All right. Spirit is bringing me right now to take us back and to understand, I think he's for understanding the true essence of innocence. Thank you, Spirit. And the falling consciousness, Spirit is saying, that we had to do in order to come here from the brightest light that we chose to fall into darkness and the moment that we are born we continue to fall into darkness because of the dna lineage that we choose we are indoctrined into complete darkness from our gurus and our ascended masters none of them um 
Thank you, Spirit. Did not have to walk through darkness. And thank you. And Spirit is bringing through the whole cognition of shadow work and people that are doing shadow work. There's many levels of shadow work. And so the Spirit is bringing through what the New Age community is talking about the shadow work. You're going to recognize that they don't get to the meat of shadow work. Um, more or less, if you, and you can go do this, go look at, you know, Google the hashtag shadow work. You're just going to see people saying, don't run from your emotions, feel your emotions. Yes. <laughs> That's the first step, okay? I'm going to take you guys deeper into that, okay? Because there comes a point, thank you, Spirit is bringing through, that we need to bring in alchemy into this. And so I teach people how to manifest as well. I'm a, an amazing manifester. Um, I have manifested many, many different things in my life. If you go back and listen to some of the teachings, my favorite one is manifesting a career without an education. I am a university drop-up, proud of it. I've manifested my homes. I've manifested money, when, whenever. So Spirit is bringing all of this up because they want to bring in shadow work combined with your alchemy abilities and also in regards to how you relate to energy and relationship to energy is shown in how you relate to people in your life, how you relate to yourself, how you relate to your loved ones, your work, your money. Okay, everything is about relation. So I'm going to take you into a place of not looking at the details of life. Okay, a lot of people when they want to manifest in their life, they're like, I want to visualize that house, or I want to visualize that person, or I want to visualize, you know, this calling, I want this wellness center, and I want it to look like this. Okay, spirit is saying it's not attached to the details of it. Thank you. Spirit is saying our own selfishness as humankinds have fallen in consciousness because we did come from the light. We do. We are predominantly light, right? Um, Spirit is saying, remember, there is only one consciousness here on the planet. The ego mind, thank you, is the animalistic reptilian mind that comes with all animal kingdom, okay? Thank you. Spirit is talking about the different states of consciousness that we're going to dive into. And so we come from the animal kingdom, right? It is a certain state of consciousness, the animal kingdom, and humans are a part of that. We're going to go into plant life and bacteria and the evolution process. And Spirit wants to somewhat go through all of this to really talk about where the dark coats come from, where darker energies come from. Thank you. And what has happened to the matrix and the system that we are currently living in and including the pandemic and what is going on with the world that we know and why it's falling apart. I need a sip of coffee. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. So spirit is guiding me back to talking about the animal kingdom and about the nervous system and the mind. And so when we fall into consciousness into this human temple, this body that we chose, right? Because remember, we become so attached to our bodies. Your body is not who you are. It's just a space suit. Okay. And so when we came and fell into this body, we chose a precipice, um, a pre, thank you, not precipice, thank you, Spirit is saying a predetermined uh, lineage because of the ego and the survival mechanisms that were housed in the brain patterns, okay? That were already conditioned for eons, okay? And so your lineage has evolved that you chose to come into, has chosen to evolve uh, through uh, colonialism, wars, tribal wars, starvation, poverty, whatever your family has had to go through. Remember, this lineage that you chose may very well be a karmic lineage that maybe you try to kill off from another lifetime when you were born into another lineage, okay? So spirit wants us to be very open-minded with these teachings that are coming in because there is significance in the lineage that we chose. And the reason for that is the animalistic mind, the ego of survival that keeps the pineal gland they're showing me the brain right now and they're showing me you know the the frontal cortex and the different hemispheres of the brain the they're showing me all the you know the stem at the back what attaches to the spinal cord 
they're showing me that in the middle of the brain is your pineal gland and now uh, they're saying that when we come into these bodies and these lineages the more this is fascinating the more toxicity that we hold within our temples within our brains which are also toxic thought patterns the mind becomes more jumbled they're showing me that the brain becomes very swollen <clears throat> very interesting and it becomes so swollen that it puts pressure on the pineal gland and it covers up a lot of um thank you spirit energy neuron gateways pathways they're saying to get to the pineal gland okay what happens with plant medicine and this is why i love plant medicine but it also it, it's not just plant medicine okay it also happens with the healing that you do is when we start to shift the brain patterns either through meditation working through your traumas there is a release that happens with the neurochemicals they're saying the neuro synapsis connections it starts to release and clear the mind and this is why meditation and other types of techniques start to bring in an ease is so that new neurons can form and it takes the pressure off the pineal gland now there's also a coating around the pineal gland the pineal gland is the third eye all right it's the physical manifestation of the third eye that houses uh, the receptors to receive visions and your connection to the ethers now depending on the lineage that you come into the mind patterns and the swollenness of that toxicity of the survival ego is going to limit your pineal gland but it's also showing me spirit is showing me that there is a calcified sometimes with some lineages they're showing me it's almost like an egg like a hard shell that is completely encased the pineal gland and spirit is saying those are the ones that are completely in separate consciousness separateness consciousness okay that they don't understand unity consciousness at all that they're very much um, about themselves it's very much the one wing of things of the narcissist and and that type of aspect okay a sip of coffee hang on okay and spirit is saying this is very important to understand how dark energies work okay so give me another second they're bringing down now the heart chakra okay thank you so the cells in the brain the spirit is saying are completely different than the cell memory in the heart and if you look this up scientists are discovering that the heart cells have cell memory so there's fascinating i've read different document uh medical documentary i'm fascinated with science so <laughs> but I, I i i read all kinds of different things so this is coming from what i've read okay spirit is bringing this up that you know if you google and you research about uh a heart transplant you know they will take a heart transplant out of you know a, a child or a, a boy or whoever who's passed away and put it in another person that person's heart that person who receives that heart starts to have uh, heart memory and and visions of the person who's deceased whose heart that they have and scientists are realizing this whole aspect of stem cells and you know if you look at stem cells that come out of the umbilical cord and how you know if you put the stem cells uh, it's like pure creator force energy into you know a bunch of cells that are going to form into a kidney those cells will form into a kidney or you know however else they were formed into wherever you you put it you know bone marrow transplants and things like that if you use stem cells you know they grow and morph into those cells and so spirit is saying that this is part of the collective power of how humans also come together with like energy and that we morph and gain more power together and this is why the mysticism aspect is so important for the next evolutionary stage for humanity it is conscious expansion it is to decalcify the pineal gland and it is be the ability to hone our power so no more of this spiritual bypassing spirit is saying 
we are leaving the new age community and this is why i know i'm here because i am a trailblazer spirit is saying we have to have these trailblazers to pull out of the new age community because the positive thinking mindset the uh tapping the uh even the tarot readings you guys okay and this is where i have i have struggled in my life is because we can't become attached to these teachings because if anything spirit is saying if we are not decalcifying the pineal gland and gaining new states of consciousness and awareness we will continuously be trapped in the mind neuron swollen brain aspect of the lineage okay so they're bringing me back now to the heart and the heart memory the heart memory thank you right Thank you, Spirit. This is saying that it holds a different type. Uh, it's very similar to stem cells. So this is what they're bringing up. It's a more active, alive cell memory. Spirit is saying. Okay, thank you. They're bringing up the mind cells are based on chemi chemical. Thank you, Spirit. Chemical receptors, and the brain is simply the reference library based on what your lineage has gone through the memories that are downloaded from your DNA of your family lineage, the patterns, how things are supposed to be. This is how you know these things as a child. So even when you try to speak up, your parents don't even have to, Spirit of Show Me, don't even have to say anything to you. You can immediately feel it, okay? That's because you're empathically already aware of the DNA coding that's in the brain that is suppressing the pineal gland, all right? now they're saying the stem cells are very similar to what is the cell memory that's in the heart the heart can continuously once activate realize what uh, different frequencies of love are different frequencies of connection and the heart is not a place to spirit is saying to completely trust and this is not where i take my clients i take my clients into their pelvic floor Okay, the heart is simply in the middle of the chakra system to feel the energies that are coming from your root chakra and up through your chakra system or what is being downloaded from spirit. Okay, thank you, spirit. Spirit is saying I will never download through your crown. That is correct. Yes, spirit. Right. They're saying we would never download through you. Everything comes up through you because we have fallen in consciousness we are constantly to be in a surrendered state so any thank you spirit is saying any new age teaching that tells you to pull energy down okay thank you it is thank you spirit is saying it those teachings should be used as a form of descending your consciousness down into your pelvic floor and not to be used as a way of downloading energy from source because when we download energy from up and outside of ourselves, Spirit is saying, you don't know where the energy is coming from. Because you're pulling from outside of yourself. Thank you. The right way to work with energy is to feel it in your pelvic floor, your deep authenticity, your deep knowing that is deep in your gut. And again, this takes practice, guys, because in the society that we were born into, negates us listening to those gut instincts. Okay. The society that we have grown up in over the last 150 years, okay, has been to take us out of that pelvic floor intuitive knowing and into the heart and mind duality, okay? And this is where most of humanity is struggling, including the new age community, okay? And so the heart spirit is bringing up is to simply sit there to feel the energies, to know what energies are infiltrating in through the crown. And if you can actually trust those energies, if it's creating a physical stimulus, if you're feeling it in the heart, and also spirit is saying what is coming in through your root chakra that is coming in through your groundedness um, and from your deep knowing of your gut instincts, okay? You're going to get an array of energy that's going to come in. You're going to pick up. Thank you. Spirit is bringing up. I don't know if you guys have watched the movie, What the Bleep. It's it's a, it's an old movie, but it's a, it's a great movie. It, there's a lot of basics in there but there's a great a lot of a foundational work that you guys can learn if you watch that it, it's what got me into quantum physics because uh, i was always a science person in school <laughs> um but yeah if you um take a look at 
yeah, Thinky Spirit is bringing up the what the bleep. They're bringing up, you know, uh, the chemical responses and receptors of the brain. And so they hooked up a bunch in this one test, they hooked up a bunch of athletes, uh, you know, to their brainwaves and had them run through their regimen, you know, their routine in the mornings or whatever they did to prepare for their race. And the sensory aspects of their brain fired off receptors to the muscles, even if in the same capacity, in the same strength as if they were imagining it, or if they were actually doing it. Now, spirit is saying that aspect of the mind is the robotic aspect okay of chemical responses this is where most of humanity is addicted to and this is how darker forces come in okay and it feels good too because remember what you have experienced you know let, let's take that analogy that spirits bring up with, from the movie what the bleep you know I'm running my routine, I'm doing my workout. Yeah, that feels good. I know how that feels. That feels good. We get an immediate, you know, uh, trigger from the mind. It releases certain chemicals. It's a lock and key mechanism. It goes to the muscles and it it locks in into those cells, right? Into the mitochondria. If you look up a mitochondria, so I'm not getting into the scientific stuff because that's just going to get too much for a lot of you. But if you look into how the chemicals work, then the muscles fire, we get chemical responses. The same thing happens to our sexual organs. It happens with food. It happens with uh, drugs. It ap happens with people. It happens with relationships. It happens with everything. And this is the hard part of moving out of the physical stimulus of the body. None of that is real, okay? And so when we are partaking in... Um, even any type of new age teachings that are out there, mine included, guys, don't take me for the Holy Grail either. Okay, guys, you are your own guru, you are your own God, you are your own everything. And I honor that in you guys, okay. Um, I'm just here to just bring these teachings to help elevate you guys. Um, so yeah, as a one consciousness, so we could bind together and come together to heal humanity, because the earth will heal. It's not the earth that needs healing. Let's just get that right off the table right now. Okay. The earth is already healing herself. That's why we have COVID. Okay. So spirit is bringing this up so that the heart center, the stem cells, the, the ability for the heart to grow, remember and expand and to know energy. Okay is to simply be used as a compass and how to move through different pathways and so spirit is bringing up that when you have an awakening or when you're ready to move on from an old vibration and you can feel the new vibration coming your heart is working overtime it's it's your heart that's going out around you in your auric field six feet and all around you and this has been proven by science that the heart energy can be felt up to six feet in all directions all around you okay and when that happens your heart is constantly searching the pathways the energy highways outside of you of what would be a good path to walk down all right now that being said the mind will kick in and you'll notice you'll go between the heart and mind i need to oh maybe i should be with this person i'm gonna go my heart is calling me to the spirit let's go to this person the mind kicks in right with the rationalization and then we get stuck okay now the heart thank you spirit is also saying can't be trusted also for those decisions even if we're pulled to something because when we're also pulled it also depends on how much we have elevated out of our trauma bonding every human on the planet has had trauma bonding i don't even care if you've never experienced a piece of trauma in your life i used to date this one person who said my family was like leave it to beaver well leave it to beaver is not a normal family i hate to say it you're living in a fantasy world <laughs> but um with that aspect it's like that's still a trauma colonialism is a trauma if you were born um and your family lineage went back to you know did the colonialism it's not that you're taking responsibility for what your lineage did it is taking responsibility for the ego that creates privilege 
okay now for the victims of that it is the same thing it is the mind patterns and the ego that creates victimhood okay out of your lineage so you see race and all of this stuff can be alleviated if we all take ownership for the lineages that we're born into now that that's the first aspect we also can't trust the heart spirit is saying in the way of i'm getting pulled i need to go in that direction or i need to go in that direction spirit is saying based on how much healing that we've actually accomplished okay the mind can definitely pull you into something that still feels very comfortable okay and the comfort comes from the indoctrined dna that you chose to come into okay so it's very important to look at your past it's very important to look at your childhood it's very important to look at your ancestors it's very important to look at how you were raised and the blocks that created uh disharmony with your family right and this isn't about pointing fingers and blaming them if i was just raised this way if i was just this way we're all gonna mess up even even parenting tactics that are out there okay like i've told my children yeah i have verbally abused you we're gonna have to do ayahuasca <laughs> together um yeah i'm a single mom things were hard no one's ever supported me my entire life yeah my children did get some actually a lot of the brunt of my healing process and there's a saying out there uh, we don't watch what is it we don't watch our children grow up it's our children that watch us grow up right but anything can be healed you guys okay so we can't have shame and guilt when we do act out of those ways we have to be kind and to ourselves and be like okay messed up there i'm gonna apologize i'm gonna own up let's keep going because moving through the matrix and through the dark energies because we have all fallen in it everyone has demon attachments i'm just gonna throw it out there. every single one does okay until you really get deep to see where you're purging i don't have those demon attachments anymore they try to siphon me still trust me okay they still try to get at me trust me um but they're not attached to my aura i remember purging the demons out in my bucket <laughs> at ayahuasca ceremony so it's quite fascinating because there is a realm that feeds off our lineages and has been doing that for a very long time so let's just get the shame and guilt over with who cares that you have demons attached to you and who cares that yet you have all this crap happening to you and yeah you've been a mean person and yeah yeah hi i'm there with you okay let's just take that judgment out of it everybody on this planet i truly believe what is born out of pure spirit from spirit some of us got lost some of us will not make it in this lifetime and others have chosen to take on the responsibility of the dark accord okay who have agreed to be the villains in this matrix in this play okay we can't blame them um, because the dark also wakes us up okay and they're still trying to find their way home so remember there's no judgment here okay this is this is us healing and spirit is, wants to bring this up because these dark codes so now i'm gonna we're gonna get into okay thank you spirit so spirit is saying we're gonna get into so the heart aspect right and how that can rejuvenate and how that is our compass but our compass is broken right now guys okay to know truly in which direction and this is where spirit is saying and shamans say there are three brains we have the mind the heart we're gonna go into the pelvic floor now i discovered my gut instincts and my truth probably i think it was about two years old it was after i was abused i was put back into my bed and i remember god saying to me it was actually the the white buffalo woman i was she was in my bed the white buffalo doll that i had gotten and she said do you remember this light you have to hang on to this in the darkest times so and don't let anybody have this okay that's been my saving grace and that light sat not in my mind not in my head but deep in my gut deep in my knowing of who i was as a soul and my truth and i could not let that go or have anybody have that and so i've been highly protective of that it's why i've been very much a hermit and pulled back from people why i don't really socialize why i close off because i know i know when someone can't meet me there 
my problem, which a lot of highly awakened beings have moving into the next vibration is that we do care. Okay, we do care. <laughs> we want the people to come with us. We feel bad when we evolve out of somebody else, out of a relationship, out of family members, out of friends. Now, Spirit is saying there's different points of that, that when we do evolve out of that, that some can come along, some will be able to handle your change and others won't. Okay, so let's go back into the pelvic floor. So Spirit is saying the pelvic floor is that gut instinct, is that deep knowing and that deep authenticity, like you can't lie there, okay? It's like lying to yourself and say, okay, I have cut off my left arm and I don't have an arm. And if you try and take that energy all the way down into your gut, it won't feel right. You just try that just say I don't have a left arm now if you don't have a left arm say you don't have a left foot or you don't have an eye or something that doesn't work for you okay and something that you know that you can lie to yourself authentically and take that energy and think about it just think about it for a moment right now I don't have a left arm your mind is gonna be like yeah you, you freaking have a left arm no I don't have a left but your mind's like you do have a left arm I don't have a but I want you to feel that energy the back and forth of the argument that happens okay Take that energy into your heart now. I don't have a left arm. Does your heart care? The heart is like, eh, I don't know. I do. Who cares? Like, do you? See? I want you to just see how the heart responds. My my heart responding is like, whatever. Okay. Are is that where we're going with right now, Rena? You don't have a left arm. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a left arm. Okay, that's fine. La 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 la. That's how my heart works. Um, look and listen to the to the voices that are talking to your heart okay you might want to practice this so you can start understanding your three brains okay because it's part of the discernment of energy to start working this way then take that into your gut and you're going to notice that when you take it into your gut and you say i don't have a left arm it, it, you're going to feel something move in your gut it almost for me it feels like a purge i know because i've worked with ayahuasca for for a while this it's like i know that if something doesn't feel right i want to i want to purge I want to purge now. It's not good. Um, it's literally a vomit reflex, a purge reflex. So Spirit is saying this is how darker energies are going to piggyback and mimic itself as light. So the first tactic is first, if you're pulling energy from outside of you and pulling it in, guaranteed it's not going to be of high source. Some might be, some won't be. If you are connecting in your spiritual practice and pulling energy down through you, you don't know where the source comes from. God sits inside. There's a story of great spirit. When God, when the father energy came to creation and created the earth with the mother of the womb with the earth and said, I have a gift. I have a secret to the, to the power to, to enlightenment, you know, um, where can I hide it? You know, oh, and the, the buffalo's like, I'll take it. And the eagle said, I'll take it. And the earth said, put it in the water in the deepest sea. And, and, and finally, the decision was to put it inside of man, deep, buried deep inside of us. So your connection to God and source is always from your pelvic floor, deep into your gut instincts. It does not come from anywhere else. I don't care if it's like talking to spirit guys you got to talk out into the ethers and you have to pull that energy in through you i would be weary you guys we're moving listen these teachings need to come down because we are moving into mysticism and i have seen many people get siphoned by the new age community and by um energies and people thinking that they're working with authentic people when a lot of these psychics a lot of these intuitives and these healers are pulling energy from outside of themselves okay everything comes from deep inside and so when we get into that pelvic floor i'm going to tell you how i read energy the deeper you go the more you clear away that debris you purge you heal you purge you heal you purge you heal you will come into a place where you will meet every single human. The point of creation where every human, everything that has ever been created, every plant, every animal, every bacteria, every cell, everything that God has created as the one consciousness with us included, you will meet. And this is not pulling energy from the Akashic Records. Like, I don't even care about the Akashic re Records, okay? The Akashic is just, like, I've been reading Akashic since I was three, okay? Like, <laughs> I don't know, like, uh, there's Akashic, the book, and all that. That's, again, pulling outside of yourself. That deep knowing 
is God will have a conversation with you and give it to you if you are willing to meet God deep within yourself and do that healing work. That's when you will get dead on premonitions. That's when spirit will show you dead on visions. That's when spirit will give you real, real abilities. Okay? Not an attached ability where I need to now seek outside more to my guide go. I'm switching out guides now. Now I'm talking to a different angel has shown up. No. And I'm not saying that these things are bad, you guys. Okay? But where we're going to heal the planet, to not heal planet, heal humanity, because it's humanity that's messing it all up. There has to be an altruistic way of working with energy and no more siphoning of the energy, okay? So Spirit is bringing this up. I need a sip of coffee. That is one way that Spirit's going to bring this through about how dark energies come in through your thoughts and belief systems, okay? If you believe that your practice and their meditation and all of this is the way, but you're not seeing results and you just keep feeling empty, okay? Spirit is saying, if you've been going through that pattern for a while where, you know, and I've been through there too, guys, I, I was stuck for like a good 10 years in my path with this. This is how I know this cycle now. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. It wasn't until, <coughs> sorry guys, it wasn't until, um, I was super stuck and I went and drank ayahuasca that I was like, ah, uh, ah, I thought I was awakened at that point because I was playing a lot in um you know trying all kinds of different things to get me unstuck but i noticed the loop it's like that growth i'm growing i'm expanding oh my god now i have to go back i thought i already learned that now i have to like heal that again do you guys have that i'm sure you have that comment down below because i'm pretty sure you guys have that and it's like i thought i already healed that i thought i already did that and uh spirit's like nah listen when you heal with god truly you heal that pattern's done and closed okay when I've healed with plants, when I've gone and drank ayahuasca, that shit heals. I don't loop back. I don't loop back. They, they bring you, you know, one veil after another of illusion that starts to, to go away. When you're stuck in the new age community, you're constantly, okay, I'm growing, expanding, I'm learning. Oh, now I have to go back and do this. And you're constantly going back and forth. That is trauma bonding. You are trauma bonding to the spiritual experience where the darker energies are feeding off of each other, okay? Including tarot reading. So I want you guys to just go back and look at my tarot readings and the synchronicities that happen in the tarot readings. Like, I can't make that up, right? That's because that's coming right from source. That is from inside of me coming up through my pelvic floor, up and through me, through my hands. That is the expression of God. God comes in from deep within you. It filtrates up through your kundalini. It works through your hands. It works through your heart. It works through your third eye. It uses, it uses your brain as a reference library to give you all of the visions, okay? How darker energies work is they're going to pull in the energy from outside of yourself, okay? You're going to have to breathe that energy, connect down into you, okay? Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, when we connect to the father energy, what I teach my clients is first connecting to the mother, pulling the energy through the mother, up through the pelvic floor into a surrender to the father. When you offer to creator, that's the thing. You have to surrender onto the father energy, to the, to the masculine energy, to the creator energy. When you offer, you will feel an offer come back from the creator. It is not the other way around. The father does not come the father energy does not come into your life if you are not humbled and surrendered to offer yourself first to the great spirit okay that's why we have sacrifices and things like that in tribal times right that it was a sacrifice to the gods you know um the earth doesn't need that sacrifice the earth gives that offering through you up to the cosmos and when you feel the offering from the father energy that energy then will come down through you and give that back to the mother now when we connect no you may be saying spirit is saying something you may be saying well then what if i just connect to the father energy that way and ask okay spirit is saying there always has to be an offering of self 
okay there is always a surrender you have to come both to the feminine energy the temple and the masculine energy on bended knee okay and what the new age community and this is why darker energies attach and why uh you know you may not get clear messages and things like that they're even talking about even talking to astral beings even talking to you know media i used to be a medium i'm gonna be honest as part of my path it's all part of a, a certain ascension path with your intuition so these aren't bad things you guys it just depends on where you're at i've elevated past that now if you are a medium for instance and you're talking to those that have crossed over thank you spirit is saying yes some of them are working in realms as guides that some mediums do pick up on that but there are other ones that are using darker forces to mimic that and a medium who doesn't have discernment will give those messages back and yes it may be true and yes it may help with the per the receiver's uh healing process and all of that but it also activates dark coding okay and this isn't a bad thing either you guys and so i'm not saying dark is good or bad or good is bad or there's no judgment on this we have to go through the darkness to know our power so if that's how the darkness comes into your life to learn i'm not telling you guys to avoid the dark if anything i want you to walk through the dark and to face those things to know your power okay and so as mediums you know you're you don't know who you're talking to because guaranteed i bet you just go ask a medium how do you connect they're doing it from their mind and their heart guaranteed there's very few psychics and mediums that when i talk to them that they go deep inside because the messages that you get as a medium and i'm going to tell you this that i noticed that it was darker things that were trying to infiltrate through me that when i was working in bali with a, a hindu priest and he taught me this he's like what are you doing why are you pulling energy he saw me doing that he's like why are you pulling energy through you that's not that's not how you do it i was like huh <laughs> that's what i was taught and um he showed me and and that shifted everything for me that i started to realize as a medium i was like okay i'm crossing this person over god would meet me every time in my pelvic floor and i would see the gates of heaven open from my gut not in my mind's eye and not in my heart okay so darker energies like to sit in the mind and the heart duality so if you're feeling things in the heart and mind and more in your upper chakras i would get deeper into that even if it's feel good stuff okay because the dark likes to encode and feel good enlightenment stuff to feed between the heart and mind duality okay i was recently talking to you know an a love interest there and um talking about shakti pad and receiving all these downloads and feeling blissful and all this blah 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 and i had psychic visions with this individual not gonna lie i had visions it was clear visions it was potent stuff i was like wow what is this is amazing it ended up to be one of the darkest relationships i've ever had okay um because it wasn't real it, it it's the zaza zing it's the the visions are very clear the visions that come from god from the true creator are never going to be vibrant like that okay so that's how darker energies play on you when they're like i just had a vision and i just i gotta pull this through and i gotta say this and it was so clear it was so vibrant no no that's how the dark mimics that's how they gain your interest right and it's okay if you gain interest and you go and do it again no shame no judgment on that guys we have to play in those things to learn we're all children of god we're all here to learn so if that's where you're going that's where you're going that's fine but i'm just putting this channel out spirit really wanted to bring it through that you start to recognize that when you get messages from spirit okay it's a whisper it is the softest whisper <sighs> spirit is saying and you will have to question you will have to continuously go within yourself to ask in your pelvic floor to ask in your gut what that voice is several times sometimes before you get an answer okay because spirit will test your faith in listening to that little voice and that little voice rises up 
and and when i feel spirit spirit speaks to me through my left ear but not from my left ear first the energy i feel immediately starts to rise from my gut it goes up usually up my spine like it does go up my spine but usually predominantly on my right side it clicks in my my head jolts back it's like a kundalini shake my head jolts back and it locks me into spirit and god talks to me that way. i can feel the message and the voice of god rising up through my gut in through my chakras into my ear okay that's how spirit talks now a lot of healers and psychics and mediums don't feel it that way it comes right into their ear right into their heart they're just working with the upper chakras okay so it's very important to start to discern now the discerning aspect spirit is saying and how dark entities take you here 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 are some things that you'll start to realize here are some signs okay the first sign spirit is saying it's too good to be true okay the visions the okay thank you spirit right okay okay thank you so they're saying without the plants okay without any type of um this is you just having a conversation with somebody okay this is without the plants this is just a human to human connection okay you will right you thank you spirit you will feel uh you'll have very clear vision you'll have a very uh strong um connection you will uh start having all these images in your mind it will feel like wow amazing spirit is saying this is when you in one body and you a person in another body connect and the energy fields merge in the 3d world and you're exchanging energy and you're downloading things from outside of both of yourselves into yourself and when you play off that way in a person to person connection soul to soul connection where the energy aura feels merge you're then connecting you're pulling in their dark as much as their light okay spirit saying that is like the first sign okay that darker energies will mimic and come in and activate okay uh things in you where they will use your your good heart and your good intentions okay that you'll start to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and you're like oh my god like i'm feeling that and we're having so many synchronicities i'm sure you guys have experienced that this is such a soul connection and and this is amazing that spirit is saying that's the energy is merging okay um if you merge and have that experience spirit is saying you're in the because they're showing me like with ayahuasca and with plant medicine um that consciousness is different that takes over in a different way that okay spirit doesn't want to go into that this is just basic you meeting another person okay so that's that's how you know they're saying even with uh a teaching okay and you're on on uh, you know researching different healers and things like that and you're trying to feel it out notice where your energy is at when you're feeling it out are you thinking about it and connecting your mind energy to the logical aspects because remember everything has energy right so is it the the logical rationale on someone's website let's say okay that activates your mind that gets you interested spirit is saying that's a mental connection okay darker energies will siphon off of that to feed to get into your mind that then can activate different patterns within the mind is it a heart-centered connection oh my god i can feel with oh i had that experience i can feel that i can feel that spirit is saying that's not a it's again these aren't bad things okay but they will use that heart place to pull in again into your body to um pull you to act, to act thank you these these forms of connections are to for you to action these connections okay um now and only and only you guys know now if you look at somebody's website and and, and you're looking for a healer and something is hitting you in your gut it hits you in your gut and it in spirit is saying it may just be a pang it might even be an upset it might 
it might not feel good spirit is saying follow that gut instinct because there is a reason why there's an upset in our gut instinct spirit is saying a lot of people don't follow the gut instinct because we haven't been taught to do that and so the only time that we do listen to our gut instinct is when something is wrong or something is about to happen and we're getting warned that's because spirit says that's the only time that we listen to that gut instinct but if we train ourselves and if you want to learn more you guys can work with me my coaching sessions are down below but if you want to learn more and you start practicing and listening to that gut instinct you'll get messages in all kinds of vibrations but remember your gut cannot lie right try that exercise that i talked about at the beginning your inner knowing cannot lie okay the heart and mind duality energy will never be pure energy that's how darker energy siphon and come into you okay so one you're connecting soul to soul soul to soul with somebody you you will start to notice what you have to sit with it and thank you for saying sit with that connection where does it sit does it sit in your heart does it sit in your mind okay most of those connections will sit in the upper chakras then you can have a discernment of the energy that's actually starting to try and come through Okay, because it will mimic certain things. Okay, now if you sit with that energy before you act on it, Spirit says it may bring up other memories in your mind. Sit with that energy, feel it out in your heart, listen to it in your mind, and just observe the energy. It will remind you of maybe another pattern. So, for instance, when I was dating this person, reminded me of somebody else that was in my life that had a massive lack mentality, it was very codependent on my energy. And I'm like, wow, that's interesting that that person's popping up with this person. And I'm like, oh, they have the same vibration. Do I choose to engage in that? Now, sometimes we do, and we need to learn those lessons. Other times we hit a point where like, I'm done with that lesson. I'm like, no, 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 I don't want to deal with that. So Spirit is saying that that's the first step, okay, to recognizing where that siphoning energy is coming in. Okay. Whew, let me take a sip of coffee there before we get to the second, second step. Okay. The second step and where we are being siphoned. Right. Thank you, spirit. Right. Thank you. Spirit is saying when you notice that you can't actually speak your truth. Okay, so the moment that you get stifled, or the moment that you feel that energy in your throat chakra, again, these are all the upper chakras, okay? Um, because that's how the energy tricks us. It, it's funny, because you think that it would be the, the other lower chakras, we, we have this judgment in the New Age community, that's the lower chakras that are the earth and the higher chakras are more elevated. So we all work with that. That's actually how the darkness gets. In. <laughs> so I find it all very fascinating. Um, how this is all coming out so spirit is saying um the second aspect <clears throat> is your throat chakra the second aspect is your throat chakra if you feel immediately that you are not being heard you can't speak um something is choking you up okay there's something happening with the upper chakras with that connection Okay, that means that there is something toxic that is mimicking coming into your energy field through your mind, your heart duality. Okay. Okay. And so thank you. Spirit is saying whenever there is an authentic connection that is forged with God, it's like you don't even actually need to speak. Spirit says there's just a deep knowing that it the conversation just flows it just happens there's no pretending there's no waiting for someone to respond and getting their reaction and then saying it it just there's just an ease to it and spirit is saying and you've had these connections that you know think of somebody that you have a great connection with it's like you just have this knowing there okay thank you what's another way spirit that they they siphon right spirit is saying when you when we all predominantly choose to seek quick fixes in our healing journey because i'm going to tell you guys um your journey your healing journey is a long process okay you're not going to heal 
in like that like i've seen people heal quick quickly and i heal pretty quick too but <laughs> it takes time remember we live in a 3d world it takes time for it to actually manifest we live in a um so out of alignment with nature and so out of alignment with the plants because they have a different um consciousness right we are part of the animal kingdom and so because of that the 3d world in nature it takes a while it takes a while to grow a tree okay like it takes a while to grow um to create meadows and forests and swamps and you know the ecosystem everything is playing with each other and can interconnected and we aren't any different than that but yet we want our enlightenment to be like yesterday okay and spirit is saying that anything that happens in a fast moving pace okay uh right you know those relationships oh we're meant to be together does this feel so amazing that's when the energy that's the toxic trauma bonding right that's when your energy is merging with somebody else's energy and then your dark energy codes uh come together that's when the darker forces can feed off of both of you and that's why you end up with like a narcissist or somebody who can't hear you or a controlling person or trauma there's that trauma bonding again right it's because the two souls are connecting and merging their energy fields together and twin flames aren't like that okay if you're in a sacred partnership it's not like that it may feel like it's fast and exciting but it's not like that it's actually an underlying energy of peace that works from the gut instinct twin flames and high soul connections are from a deep place of a deep knowing of deep authenticity okay there's none of this push and pull dynamic okay this new age community has created twin flames as the runner and the chaser and that's codependent shit okay separation is about healing is about choosing self and moving into your best self and using the teachings from that to become whole without the resentment and the attachment of what's happening with the other person and that you can love freely and yet be in your own lane okay that takes a while to get there i'm not gonna lie healing takes a long time so spirit is saying anybody that promised you promises you quick fixes anybody says oh, i can bring you into union now people that say oh i can tell you who your twin is or people say oh i have the remedy just use this and you know i can double your income in the next month or i can do this for you spirit to say there is no quick fix you're going to want a healer that speaks the damn truth of how hard this really is okay um and so spirit is saying thank you if it's not aligned to nature in our 3d reality we must consistently look at nature the environment how the the thank you how nature works how the ants and the animal kingdom work in harmonious union with the earth because spirit is saying that is the divine union of masculine and feminine energies the creation of all the animals the creation of the ant was created in the womb of the mother is the creator force energy of co-creation of species that comes in from the father energy that seeds things in the earth which is the womb of the mother okay we operate in the very same fashion but we want things to happen quickly so for us to heal and find the purity of our connection and that we are really speaking to the one god is first to get very deep and honest within our pelvic floor to pray to have a deep relationship because nobody on this planet you guys is going to do this for us but ourselves prayer is powerful okay and it's not again from the heart and what you want and begging god to help you you know god only helps those that help themselves it's putting a plan in place in prayer and saying okay spirit i'm gonna do this one action today i'm praying to you because every, in the morning as soon as i wake up and i always tell my clients first thing you do you, if you're going to come work with me you got to have a spiritual regimen you guys you got to get on that routine because this is the process of healing i'm not going to be a quick fix for you i'm going to take you through the brunt work of it okay but i'll stand by your side that's why i'm here that, that's a true healer okay guys um you know that i've been through it all that i understand that um so that you don't lose sight of your own light in the darkness as you're walking through that 
um, because it's the only way to enlightenment is to go through your own darkness and to find your power in that and so yeah spirit is bringing up that if anybody promises these quick fixes or you know that you can get this or you can have that uh spirit is saying just be weary that this is we have to let go of our mentality that things happen quickly and get reconnected to the earth to see how long does it build take to build an ant colony how long does it take for a butterfly to transform how long does it take for the birds to migrate and to move from one location to the next how long does it take for a tree to grow how long does it take for you know a farm to become fully functioning spirit really wants us to get very honest with that and to realize that when we are in connection with source and we make that a regimen every day for prayer and to be in connection with source and even if that's through meditation i'm not saying meditation is bad but it's to open the door the meditation is just simply used to clear the mind okay it's not to pull an energy okay it's to clear the mind to get you deep into the pelvic floor to speak to god okay and to practice prayer a lot of people don't know how to pray okay especially in the new age community i don't hear anyone praying i i don't i don't see it okay um we have to become our own gurus and our own connection to hold that light so that we can come into a level of a place of vibration to recognize our soul family right and our tribe and our calling and what we're meant to be doing here so this is coming to a place of really deep authentic work and i'm going to be honest it's going to be a lonely journey spirit's bringing that through too this journey you're not going to find we're not going to find our tribe okay until we have a strong relationship with spirit just you and spirit remember the higher up the mountain you go to the peak the lonelier it gets and when you get to the peak you have the vision of everything around you to manifest and call other people up that mountain okay and whoever is meant for you will come up that mountain and it will start with one person and then two people and then three people until no one can fit on the top of that mountain and you have your tribe and you can ground that energy into the earth in a really powerful way okay so spirit is really bringing through like these darker forces is to start recognizing the hype the vitality of it the clear visions the ooh la la the you know it feels good you're gonna feel that magnetic pull that's how darker forces work okay god's light is the smallest quietest whisper that goes unnoticed it really does people do not see that because they're really stuck in the mind and the heart duality all right i hope that helped you guys i hope that made a lot of sense um i wanted to say all of that and i want you guys to just know like none of this is bad like tarot is not bad um the new age community is not bad it's just we're hitting another place of evolution that we have to leave certain behaviors and things aside and spirits also bringing up like okay the evolution process they want me to just go back just go back over this <laughs> so we talked about the animal kingdom and where we're at um, in our evolution process right now they want to bring up bacteria is the highest state of consciousness the the bacteria was the first thing manifested on the planet okay the bacteria came and took housed out of the water and moved through uh thank you then the plants were created and then moved through into the animals and it is the animals they're bringing me that bringing this up because of covid okay and there's an old shaman um story too that they talk about it a medicine story where there was a time when the plants and the earth and the bacteria and humans all lived in harmony because we only take what we need and we don't waste we we don't become wasteful and greedy and selfish and every animal housed a disease but when humans start to dishonor the sentient beings this is why i will not do cambo or frog medicine or any kind of other 
animal medicine. I won't do it. Ayahuasca has clearly told me it's not for my path. And I'm not mocking those that do it. Okay, that if that's your path, that's your path. Okay, for me, I'm too sensitive. I'm not allowed to um, for where my path is going. And for instance, where we are in the state of humanity right now, okay, um, with the sentient beings and whatnot, the animals house the diseases. And so when we don't honor them, a disease gets released, COVID included, okay? Because it is the balancing of the plants and the animals trying to maintain their equilibrium. And it is the humans that are attacked, okay, because of the greed and the selfishness. So I'm bringing that up. Spirit wanted me to bring that up to show you what it, what is actually happening on the planet right now. This isn't going away. There will be more diseases, I'm being told. There will be more, um, they're saying energies and bacterias and things like that that will come out in the city centers because the way that we farm and treat our animals. And, and I love this saying too, you can't really be an environmentalist if you eat meat, but not everyone's gonna be a vegan either. So don't get me wrong, because I understand not everyone's going to be a vegan, okay? But everybody needs to cut back, okay? We can't be eating bacon, burgers, and the chicken for dinner every single day. Like, it's just, in, and then drinking milk on top of that every day. It is killing the earth. We all need accountability of how we're actually honoring our temples and what we're actually putting into our temples. And Spirit is bringing up that those, that energy from not honoring sentient beings is also creating okay inflammation and things in our energy bodies as well now again i'm not saying everyone's going to be a vegan okay like i work with the shaman my shaman can eat whatever the hell she wants i actually got very angry with ayahuasca <laughs> i got very angry i'll tell you the story me and her we went for we were doing a ceremony she's like let's go for seafood i'm like i'm not allowed to ayahuasca doesn't want me to she's like oh it's okay what's well, okay we it's not gonna be bad we'll eat at noon we don't have ceremony till nine it's fine i'm like okay fine so i did i went and ate seafood because i love seafood i went and ate it that night i had a hard ceremony <laughs> when i was purging ayahuasca came through and she's like what are you doing to my sea animals my poor creatures and i said back to ayahuasca i said why is she, why is my shaman allowed to have, eat whatever she wants and I can't, because my shaman never, never purges. It's very rare that she purges now, okay, ever. But she's allowed to, right? So this is what I'm saying. There has to be balance, but, you know, for us to know that balance is for us to be connected to nature and to the womb of the mother, to know our real balance, to know our instincts, to know our real intuition. It's inside of our gut. That's where we came out of. That's where we're born out of. We're born out of the womb of the mother. So Ayahuasca got very stern with me. She's like a strict grandmother. And she said, I have a different contract with her. I have a different contract with you. You are not allowed to eat animals. I'm like, fine. And it was, I was very angry because very much like how a mother disciplines her children, you know, one child can do it and the other one can't, was very much the same. I'm not allowed to. But again, the mother, the earth is our true mother. The creator force energy that created the plants for us is our true creator force energy, is our true father. So all of these things combined, okay? we have to take it with a grain of salt we have to learn about ourselves and our souls our sensitivity where we're at if what we're bringing into our energy systems if we have to go play in it remember that the more that you bring prayer into your choices the more that you allow god to come into your vessel the more that you pray and bring spirit into your daily life creates that space for spirit to create more movement in your life okay so the more that we work with the lack mentality stuff of you know buying immediately into um new age tactics or whatever else again only you guys know if you feel like you're being siphoned or something doesn't feel right take the energy like i showed you feel it what it feels like in the mind does it feel like the heart or take it into your gut and follow the first thing your gut tells you and again that is going to take practice but your inner knowing in your gut is where spirit resides and is the only way to get a true 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 deep connection so that you aren't being siphoned 
by darker forces. Okay, you guys? All right. Is that it, Spirit? Yeah, that's it. All right, guys. So much love to you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Would love to hear what you thought about this and your own experiences with darker forces and what you feel about this. And um, I'll see you guys soon. So much love. Bye.